Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a monthly tar reading for my Capricorns for the month starting December uh, 2016. And if you like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetaro at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. And thank you for those who subscribed already. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, all of your comments and private messages. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. You can now also book me for a reading on my Facebook page. All the information below the video. And now my beautiful Capricorns, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance. And I also shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have for you in a present position this month. We have the Eight of Pentacles, uh, Past Influences, Ten of Rods, Interesting, Future Position, Three of uh, Cups, Reason, The Hangman, and Potential, which is also the outcome for the month of December, The Fool. Wow, it's going to be quite a fun month. So I am reading this spread, this spread for myself and other cards are in the right position. And so I love, I love that um, you're changing your view in life in a lot of ways. Um, some of you will be celebrating your birthday. So happy birthday for, for you guys, all my Capricorns. Uh, born in December, we have the three of uh, cups in the future position. I think some of you will have a lot of good time celebrating with your friends. Um, past influences, I mean, we have the ten of rods. Um, as we're starting the month of December, the sun is in your twelfth house, and it's like a heavy placement for you. Um, because you're governed by uh, Saturn. So when you spend the time in, in Sagittarius, just the month before your birthday, there's always this transition transitioning period where you're just like reviewing your past year, but probably you, my Capricorns, will go further than just last year. You're constantly reviewing yourself, but when the sun is, is in this... Uh, placement for you it's kind of like where you put a lot of blame on yourself when you some of you may feel responsible for a lot of things we see here the ten of um, the ten of rods and it's about burden oppression now remember this is energy as you review yourself and the past and your relationship with your family you know it takes two keep that in mind but also you know, you're, you can't be responsible for everything. Okay, everybody have their own free will. I think that is one of the most important lessons a Capricorn has to understand in life is you can't be responsible for everybody. Everybody have their own free will. And another thing I would add is, you know, you, you have to give to yourself the same encouragement you give to others. You would be the one, Capricorn, to say that to people, why well, you're not responsible for everybody. Well, same thing for you. The Ten of, of Rod is like this heavy guilt and energy, you know. Like you're constantly working on yourself. That's the current energy. You still want to work on yourself. You want to become a better person, whether it's you putting the energy in your education, uh, whether it's you putting energy in your work, whether it's putting energy in your relationship, in your family, whatever that is, or your health, because it's pentacles. Pentacles is whatever you value. Whatever you're putting energy on for the month of December, my Capricorn, is you really giving yourself the best. You're really trying the best. 
And that's one of the qualities of Capricorn is they don't involve themselves lightly in, in something, willingly. Is that they understand what involvement means, okay? And it's just, again, it's a responsibility that they don't take lightly. So you're, you're in that present, you know, um, environment where you're working on yourself or just focusing at, um, of becoming better, you know, of, of refining yourself, whether it's in your relationship or in learning something in school. But just with the 12 hours energy that's going to stay with you until the sun comes in your house, I think it's December 23rd, keep that in mind right that we always have this transit once every year and it's always before her our birthday where we look at everything see it's the last it's it's the release it's the last placement it's the 12th house we have 12 sign of the zodiac the one before you is the 12th house you're the first and so whenever the sun is in this place there's just this place of Release, you have to let go and you have to be led by faith. And you will be because in the future, uh, the outcome is the fool. We have this major arcana. So you will be. But the reason why is because you have now, you have a different vision. We have the hangman in the right position as the reason. Now you're seeing things differently. You're being more innovative. You know, you're not just being about tradition. It's not just about doing the right thing, which is being, you know, this Saturn is just like right or wrong. It's also progressing. And I think some of my Capricorn understand now that, especially with the energy in the 12th house, there's a part of that that involves your spiritual side, your awakening, your connection to the energy, the source whatever that is or that means for you and so you know because of you now understanding that you're able to look forward just like you're looking forward for your birthday but you're looking forward for this new year ahead of you where you're optimistic about the future where you're like you know and this is and we love to see an optimistic uh capricorn whether like they have planned or excited because also they're like, you know what? They, they, they have a certain release. They're like, all right, I'm just going to see, you know, I don't, I don't want to put too much on myself right now. I just want to, because at the same time, the sun and Saturn is, is in your 12th house, your ruler, you know, um, Capricorn are ruled by Saturn. Saturn is spending two and a half years in uh, Sagittarius, which is your 12th house. So Saturn, which you rule as a teacher, it's, it's about learning something in our lives. So you're also, some of my Capricorns are learning about, maybe now it's the beginning of you being interested in astrology, or maybe now you're starting reading about your bird chart, or palm tree, numerology, whatever that is, you no longer like, Look at it as you just kind of curious about it. And that's what we have with the food. You have this curiosity about like spirituality now or connecting with yourself or just being more who you are, you know. And it's not that you're not, but yes, life is about work with us. You know, sometimes also we are called to, to do other things in life. Maybe some of you are called to be um, healers. Maybe some of you are called to have maybe a more alternative work than um, than you thought initially, you know. And you're about to learn that with the hangman. It's not just about waiting and, you know, pausing. It's also about vision. See, is upside down because... He wants to make sure he sees things differently or both ways. He wants to have a not look, you know, where it's not, crypt, you know, scripted. Where it's like, all right, I just want to make sure. So you're doing this and that will bring you 
to so many places. It will open a lot of doors uh, for you, uh, especially next year. And once your ruler will go in your house, when Saturn will be in Capricorn, it's going to be something very, very magical because Pluto is there as well. And Saturn will move in Capricorn in, uh, I think it's the end of 2017. So right now, just it's this 12th house placement is a lot of things you have to let go quietly, peacefully. You still have another year of doing so in order and so many ideas of attention that you have will be released as well but i'm going to end this reading here for you my capricorns let me know how this resonated with you leave me comments until next month send you lots of kisses i love you